What's going on everybody? It's your boy Agusu back at it with another install video. If you guys are wondering why I'm wearing the same exact outfit from the last video of last week, it's because it is the same exact day. Uh, today we're doing two installs, so this is going to be your video. Since this is going to be the next week, hopefully you guys had a very, very nice weekend. Um, I don't know because I can't really speak about the future that much, but today's install we're going to be doing the F1 uh, rear brake light, third brake light for a WRX. As far as right now, uh, we were filming and we didn't notice that it was on slow-mo. So, to catch everything up, because so, I don't want to put everything back together, I took out the interior of my trunk and we'll walk you guys through the whole process on this. Um, again, thank you again to each and every one of you guys that have been recently supporting us. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys have been subscribed and are back to this channel, thank you very much for your continuous support. Um, with all that being said now, we're going to go ahead and take apart this right here and there's going to be three uh, pop clips and two pop clips over here. Just enough for us to kind of maneuver around this left taillight in order for us to connect the harnesses together. Um, later on this video, before we put it in, we're actually going to go ahead and show you guys what came in the packet or the kit um, that we bought from Rally Sport Direct. And uh, yeah, so this is an OLM third brake light how to install video on a 2021 or 2018 and above no 2015 and above WRX so stay tuned alrighty guys so as I said I'm going to be taking out that pop clip and this pop clip right here and there's going to be one two and three uh, in order for us to have clearance on this so we could get that little tiny little grommet that's inside Please excuse my rooster. Um, we're gonna have him for dinner later on. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, with all that being said, guys, we're gonna head and take this off uh, with a flathead. Jerry, stop it. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna be taking this out with a flathead screwdriver. So, st <laughs> so stay tuned. God damn it, Jerry. Where are you at? Jesus. Okay, guys. So this is what comes in the O. This one comes in the OLM third brake light. We have the extension, we have the harness, we have the plug and play, the third brake light. Austin got the white one or the white box one, whatever it's called. We have some zip ties, the bolts, screws, uh, hardware stuff, and a spare rubber push clip. Pop clip. And yeah. Alrighty guys, so as far as right now, I had taken out the three pop clips here. Um, I should have showed you guys the process, but I didn't get to. I didn't know that Irene could actually fit behind there. So what I'm going to do now is... I swear I'm going to eat that chicken and Popeyes today. But what I'm going to do now is try to take this apart. I don't know how. Oh, I think I broke it. There you go. Taking this out. So we're just going to shove it over here to the side. And then this right here should be solid and good to go to maneuver out of the way, just like so. So if you want to come over this way, this right here is going to be the harness that we are going to be tapping into with our plug and play harness. Um, can you see it? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. And with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and try to take this out from the bottom. I don't know what I'm going to see down there, but as soon as we get this out, we'll update you guys. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, I'm under the car. Uh, this is the pop clip. There's going to be two as far as what I see here. Um, I don't know if you guys know that I actually go to the gym. This is going to be lightweight for me, so I'm going to bench the whole entire car. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to go ahead and take these two out. Uh, so far I got one out and then uh, keep you guys updated on what's next. I'll try to show you, but uh, it's really tight down here, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, let's get up and close and personal over here. Um, I took this side out, but this is going to be the last one I'm going to be taking out in order for me to have access to that little cover over here. Um, as Michael said, this will take a little bit of finessing. <coughs> there you go. There you go. We're taking this out. And then uh, this is how you know that your car is not lowered, as Michael said, because you could fit under here perfectly. This is taken out, so that's it. I guess I'm going to have enough room now. No, there's going to be more. Ugh. Apparently, guys, you're going to have to take this one, this one, and there's going to be two more up here, 
and right over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that just for me to have more space. Alrighty guys, so I took the four pop clips down here. Now I have a visual on the cover plate over here. Um, there's gonna be two little clips that are like hanging onto it. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take that out and then, uh, well not take it out, you're gonna have to pinch it up in order for you to be able to do like so. Like that. Hello. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so right here, the next step was to get get this uh, paper clip looking thing, I don't know what it's called, a uh, lock clip or whatever, um, onto the bottom hole, uh, the, what do you call that, the threads facing in. Um, so that's the next step. Uh, we'll catch you guys again, we'll pick up the camera when we figure out the next step after this. As you guys can see what AJ is doing, he is putting the bracket on, you're going to have the two little flaps at the bottom, you're going to make sure everything is aligned just so the screws could fit. This is all being done while the bumper is still attached to the car. He's trying to align it just to fit in the screws. Okay, so the screw is going to go on the passenger side and the pop clip. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but AJ is putting it on the driver's side. Okay, time out. <laughs> AJ can't find the other s***. Boom. There you have it. Okay guys, so in order to get this their brake light and you have to angle it in a way where it's slightly up and it's slightly tilted in order for the push pop to fit in as well as that screw that we put in with the bracket. Um, if you try to do it any way else it won't completely fit and it'll look like it is sideways. Right now AJ is putting in the two bolts. One is I believe at the top, one is at the bottom. He is securing it making sure that it is all all righty guys so quick little update i told Erin to talk to the camera but we'll go ahead and talk about it um ourselves now what we ended up doing here is the how-to videos on the other on youtube if you want to have oem look just like how i do i know nobody's going to see this but what i ended up doing was just cutting a hole or an x and then i've just fed this through if not uh you could just push it through now I don't know if it's just my car or any other ones uh, if you guys did this install let me know if yours is on this side or this side because for some odd reason mine is on this side and based off all the other videos on YouTube I don't know if it's mirrored or not it is showing on this side now this one right here for some reason looks like it has a fast track if you guys know what that is it's like a fast track little pass right like legit right here I don't know what it is if you guys know what it is let me know in the comment section below but as far as right now, we're going to feed it through and then we'll catch up with you guys as soon as we get this uh, situated down there. So, peace. Alrighty guys, so as far as right now, based on the, the other clip that I just recorded, I have fed through the uh, extension harness through the rubber grommet that I've cut a hole through. And right now I have connected them to the third brake light um, down here. So now what I'm going to try to do is connect the plug and play, which is this one right here up over there and then hopefully things get situated and then i'll update you guys then um actually i'm going to show you guys how to do this Alrighty, guys so like i said i have the plug and play or should i say plug and play harness right here um from olm not subi speed if you guys are watching videos from subi speed i don't want to confuse you guys their harness was completely different so it needed you to clamp things on and everything like that this is legit all plug and play so as far as right now what I'm seeing is I have I had just taken out the uh, harness from the taillight and I'm going to be plugging it in on this side of the plug and play just like so and then I'm gonna have this into the actual taillight just like so very satisfying yes I know I know and then this which is to the third brake light you're gonna plug and play oh plug and play just like so very satisfying and then now I'm gonna figure out where to clamp all these excess here zip ties 
with the zip ties I don't know where uh, but I'll update you guys so I could actually show you guys where it would be most convenient for not only me but for you guys too all right guys so I had two zip ties uh, to kind of lock these in play in place and in order for me to be able to have it a clean OEM look I will go ahead and probably put in a third zip tie right here um, just so it kind of get tucked away a bit um, I'll go show you guys what it looks like under as much as I can but as far as right now I'm gonna put these back on and put the uh, pop clips back into place and then afterwards I will show you guys the finished product it looks really good I already saw it myself but I will have to show you guys just so you guys would know how it looks like so stay tuned we're almost there and uh, just give me one second alrighty guys here it is everything's all buttoned up together hopefully my car still starts because this trunk has been open this whole time and that little light over here was on the whole time but let's start peeling this off and show you guys the aftermath look we're gonna get you guys more of the actual shots when the light is on uh, later tonight if possible um, but yeah this is your OLM third brake light NB plus R install hope you guys liked it if you guys have any other questions regarding it because we bumped into a couple of issues and whatnot number of wrenches probably from five being the highest I would say this install would be what a one and a half ish no two I'd say two two, two out of five uh, it wasn't that easy but it definitely is not the hardest so like I said guys if you have any questions regarding this install please do feel free to comment down below if you guys haven't subscribed at this point yet, please do hit that subscribe button, help this channel grow, and also smash that like button. Share this video with friends, family, your neighbors, your exes, whatever. We appreciate you guys' support. This is the end of the video. Like always, this is your boy Agusa signing out. Stay positive and be awesome. Peace.